Hey everybody, it's Quentin with Capri AI. Again, I just wanted to make another video to show a little bit more detail about that most recent feature release that we did, um, showing how to use multiple tags within the conversation. So this workflow that I built, um, I am gonna update the snapshot so that uh, you have it as an optional uh, workflow. Uh, and so I'll make another video and send an email out showing how to do that. But basically you're gonna create a trigger called customer replied doesn't have tag kill switch and the reply channel is facebook messenger so this is just because our facebook page handles conversations for both applicants that are looking to apply for a software developer role and companies that are looking to hire software developers from us both of them are going to talk to our page through the same messenger channel. We just don't, we need to know who should respond based off of what they say. So um, what we've done here is basically we've come in here and we have our normal custom values set up for our open AI key, our prompt, chat GPT, except the two things that we have now is tag recruiting and tag candidate. If you see what these prompts say, it says this tag should be added if the contact specifically asks questions related to hiring a software developer for their company, or if they have a project they are working on that requires them to hire a developer. So giving that specific prompt and information for when this tag should be added, it'll know when to add that tag. And then the other one is the same thing, except this tag should be added if the contact specifically says they're looking for work or looking to apply for a position at one of our companies as a software developer. So these are two very different situations. And so they require different prompts. Mm -hmm. And this handoff is just the context stated that they've already spoken with someone uh, on a team on our team and has already scheduled a call with us. I got more specific with it because it was getting a little early with it. But I'm saying it is only considered a handoff if the contact specifically says they've already scheduled a call with our team. Otherwise, it cannot be considered a handoff. And so reinforcing it like that helps it uh, when it does the decision of is this considered a handoff condition or not. Um, so just getting really specific with it like that can can also help. So this is the main one. And the way that the condition is set up is first, if it has no tags, so this is the first branch. And it means that the tag does not include candidate and it does not include recruiting. So we don't quite know what conversation we're having just yet. And then this one is the candidate does have a tag and includes candidate. So it has the candidate tag. The other one is includes recruiting. So whenever the customer replies, if it has either one of these tags, then it's going to follow the branches. And so the branch has candidate tag will go down this webhook and this recruiting one will go down this one. And basically at first when they have no tags, that's when it's gonna come over here first, go to the main webhook, and that's where we have these two tags with their prompts set up. So we know when to actually add these tags and classify the conversation. This one is assuming that they have the tag candidate. And in that case, we wanna use a different prompt, which is our hiring prompt. So instead of our normal prompt here, we have another custom value called hiring prompt. And this hiring prompt custom value is on the other page. Give me one second. So this is the, uh, this is actually the recruiting prompt. So I don't have the hiring one in here right now, but the, the recruiting one or the hiring one would be the same way. But basically, this is Victoria, the friendly hiring assistant. As the head of hiring operations, you're able to answer questions about how it works with us and get enough information from the contact to set up a time for them to meet with one of our technical recruiters. You are not the recruiter yourself, but rather the admin that is responsible for scheduling initial phone consultations between the company looking to hire and a technical recruiting specialist from DAS. Do not answer questions about costs, the hiring process, what developers are in our pool currently, or anything other than general questions about DAS and the ultimate task of scheduling a time to meet with our team. So if you want to know more about prompt design, watch some of the videos, uh, the recordings on our YouTube channel. But this is just a very specific prompt for this purpose. The more, uh, the more you know, general one is our overall prompt, which is your Eleanor, the friendly assistant for DAS. 
Uh, DAS is a resource group for non-technical entrepreneurs. And so this just gives a more overall generic information about what we are. And then this is our spreadsheet that we're using for both cases. Um, and it's just a, a big spreadsheet like this that has questions and answers about who we are, what we do, how it works with us, all that kind of stuff. So um, this same spreadsheet can be used across all three, or I can just not include the spreadsheet like I did here for the hiring prompt. Um, and for the recruiting prompt, meaning this company is looking to hire somebody from us, this is where we can put uh, knowledge, just make sure we copy the custom value properly. But this custom value here, make it so that we use the same spreadsheet. So you can choose which one, you know, if you want to include it or not, depending on what your goal is. Um, but in action, what this kind of looks like, and you know, you can see this is the candidate tag, and this is the recruiting tag. So this is they're looking to hire. The goal is to respond. And actually, for our candidate one, because it's more of a custom, uh, because it's more of a custom action, we're actually setting the task to custom. We want it to be less of an assistant and more of a hiring manager. Um, and the disqualify prompt is that the contact does not speak English because all the developers that work with us, they have to be able to speak English since that's what our clients speak. So, um, and there's no real reason that I set like the fallback to silent or any of these other things. These are just kind of generic settings um, that you can test out depending on, you know, what you're looking to do. So um, in action, what this kind of looks like is this is a most recent conversation I had with myself. <laughs> So basically, is anyone available to chat? Yes, I'm here and happy to help. So I didn't get any tag at it at this point. And I said, are you able to find me a React developer by next week? And uh, they said, yes, we have a network of developers with various skills. The first step is to schedule a call. And at that point, I did get the uh, recruiting tag added because this, this is clear that I'm looking to hire developers. And so I said, okay, sure. And great, what day works best? Where do you hire most of them from? India. We source our developers from all over the world. So it knows how to answer this based on my spreadsheet. And then, you know, when they ask something about pricing, that's when they said, I'm not entirely sure about that. And that was good. That's what I wanted it to do. That's what my prompt says to do. Um, and it doesn't give any specific information about a recruiting fee. It says, I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, okay. And then it just goes on to continue to schedule the call. Great. What day works best for us? Any day this week? Great. We have availability on Tuesday, and this is where it's reading the calendar. And from this point, I just kind of stopped because I was testing, but that's just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, when it's running. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I hope this makes sense. Uh, and I'll probably create just a recruiting specific snapshot for this um, since this is pretty specific to uh, to uh, recruiting. Um, like a recruiting use case. So let me know if you have any questions and happy building.